my second question again, um, looking at you know vaccines. And now if we look at the neuromidase, uh, given that uh, it produces, let's say if you have a homologous neuromidase antigen, uh, the protection provided thereof uh, seems to be limited. What is the importance of neuromidase subtype in, in a vaccine? Well, it, 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 subtyping is, let's say, always helpful to to understand more about epidemiology because uh, you get a more idea what's going on. Uh, the antibodies against neuraminidase on themselves can be protective. It, it has been shown in some studies that only with antibodies against neuraminidase you can achieve, under, under ideal conditions, you can achieve a significant level of protection. But okay, the hemoglobin is number one. So for me, uh, the hemoglobin is number one, but if the neuraminidase is also homologous, yeah, then it helps because the, uh, part of the uh, antibodies against neuraminidase are then also helping to protect the birds even better. So uh, they are not really necessary, but they do help. Okay. Yeah, that, that is great. I mean, so in essence, you really want to match as much as you can both the hemagglutinin and your neuramidase so that you enhance your protection level. Yes, that's the ideal situation. Yes.